And my microwave told me to give you a little Kellyanne this morning. Okay. Uh, so this morning there seems to be a rift between Donald Trump's personal lawyer and White House lawyer handling the Russia inquiry. It stems from the question of whether the president's controversial tweet over the weekend that Joe talked about is evidence of obstruction of justice. It is. It is. <laughs> and whether the president can even obstruct justice in the first place. He can. Yes, he can. Okay. <laughs> After the president's Saturday tweet that said, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. He sure is a stand-up oh guy. Oh, my God. The president's personal lawyer, John Dowd, stepped in claiming he was the one who wrote the tweet, not the president. You really going to do that? Dowd then yesterday revealed a potential legal defense in the ongoing Russia probe, telling NBC News it's ignorant to say the tweet admitted obstruction. Dowd argued, quote, the president cannot obstruct justice because he is the chief law enforcement officer under the Constitution. Let's just stop right there. Article 2. <laughs> let's just stop right there. And has every right to express his view of any That's, case. Let's just stop there, ladies and gentlemen of America. We actually have now, yeah. and we've had it several times in this administration, Harold Ford, people that say the president is not only above the law, the president is the law. Stephen Miller saying the president is power is not to be questioned. And now the president's lawyer saying the president cannot obstruct justice because he is the law. That is the most undemocratic, un-American thing I have ever heard. It is Richard Nixon saying I cannot break the law because I am the president. The two most powerful things in the Constitution, one, a declaration of war, and two, impeachment of the president. Impeachment of the president means you're indicted and then you're tried by the Senate. Clearly the president, uh, and as the standard in the Constitution mentions, it's almost kind of, um, uh, it has both ways. It says you can be con con convicted of high crimes and misdemeanors, which really means politics, which really means just about anything. Yeah. So Mr. Dowd, I mean, I hope that there were no civics teachers yeah. or kids learning <laughs> civics in uh, third through eighth grade watching or, or reading. Uh, what All Mr. right, Dowd so we're going to show you Ty Cobb and then Kellyanne Conway. Everyone, you have things. about 20 seconds to close your microwaves before you watch this. Last night, Ty Cobb, the White House lawyer handling the Russia inquiry, distanced himself from that argument, telling NBC News, I expect a fact based exoneration that does not require that level of legal al analysis. There is no strategy of which I'm aware to rely boldly on the proclamation that obstruction is always impossible with regard to a president. And here now is Kellyanne. Does that happen a lot where other people tweet for the president? Yeah, well, yes, in terms of the lawyers, the lawyers are the ones that understand how to put those tweets together. I was with the president on Saturday um, all day, frankly, and I know that what Mr. Dowd says is correct, that he, what he says is that he put it together and sent it to our director of um, social media. Susan, she was with the president all day. He's so powerful. Literally. Oh. I, literally. She was with the president literally all day. And so she knows that the <laughs> lawyers, because we all know that the lawyers actually write Donald Trump's tweets for him because he stops and says, hmm, let me think. fools rush in. <laughs> let me. <laughs> think before I tweet. Let me. Yes. I look wouldn't before want to I lie. Tweet. I shall call counsel. I mean, come on. That's, it's, that's it's just it's beyond not, absurd. Oh and I, I wonder if. The hosts of the show <laughs> believed her? No, they didn't. That's right. I wonder if anybody in the How audience believed her. If they, did, if they did believe her, um, we've all, we've got, oh got a bridge we'd like to sell you in Brooklyn. Well, it seems that we know that the president's staff and the president live in this bubble, but that bubble is getting smaller and they're giving less and less oxygen to it. <laughs> And they just can't get out of their own way. And this is the stories that they come up with, and they want to live in those stories. And that has worked for them for a while. But, the, you know, I want to go to something earlier you said about Jim Carvel saying, oh, look at the bird, look at the bird, the distraction. But he never tore down the pillars of our society, of our country. True. Good point. The way <clears throat> that this president is. He didn't attack the, the FBI. He didn't attack journalists. He was better at it. He, I mean, at least it was a distraction. It was an honest distraction. Right. <laughs> it wasn't fundamentally trying to discredit our media, our, our justice system for personal gain. And that, I think, is just a broader conversation that is really important right now because this president is 
fundamentally starting to destroy our country. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know Heidi Prisbilla, in a lot of ways, this is the rhythm right. of what we've seen for a couple of years now, which is that Donald Trump, now President Trump, will tweet something out, and his campaign staff, or now his White House staff, scurries around behind him to clean up the mess and explain it away and say, well, here's actually what he meant, or in this case now they're pinning it on somebody else, this tweet. But the stakes are much higher in, in this case because we're in the middle of this investigation and it could lead to a charge of obstruction of justice. And we have a well-beaten path, Willie, for a lot of those people who've attempted to take the bullet for the president, and that's right out the door, because right. here's what may happen now in the case of John Dowd, which is that he's going to potentially become a witness in this investigation. There's going to be right. questions about who actually composed that tweet. It doesn't look like a tweet that even a rookie lawyer would have composed. Um, and now we're seeing also on the talk shows that there aren't really many people, even Ty Cobb, another lawyer the, within the president's team, defending this strategy. The only person seems to be John Dowd and Alan Dershowitz. Um, and it makes sense now that a lot of people within the White House are concerned about the president's legal strategy when you've got the two highest profile lawyers seemingly disagreeing on what the basis of the, the, the defense is. It is, you know, Harold, it's, it's breathtaking to, to be a lawyer in Washington, D.C., and to actually go out and make the argument that the President of the United States is above the law, that the President of the United States can't obstruct justice in an investigation that pertains to his campaign first, uh, to his administration second, and to him third. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to climb back from that. It's kind of hard to get a job in Washington, D.C. after you're branded as somebody that is actually putting forth an autocrat's defense. You know, Kelly, I, I agree with you. Kellyanne's comments, she didn't dispute what was the, the substance of it. She just said who wrote it, which one could surmise from that. She's siding with Ty Cobb on this, saying that if indeed the president was the author of this, then there's a problem, which is the point being made this morning. But Heidi's point should, should not be, as it relates to the legal part, should not be overlooked here quickly. Dow now puts himself in, the, you know, because all these other people are under oath. And if yeah. Mueller asks, because we'll, to your point, we'll get to the bottom of this. Someone's going to have to be under oath saying, yes, I wrote it, or no, I didn't write it. Uh, and as we've seen, that's what's gotten people in trouble thus far. One of the main things that's gotten people in trouble thus far uh, in this investigation. You know, uh, one other thing that's very important, too, it, it, it just legally at the end of the day, it's a distinction without a difference. Because the White House has said the president's tweets are official are the, are, are the official word of the White House. Right. They're official, official statements. statements of the White House. So. And so even if a lawyer drafted it, he didn't. He didn't. But even if he did, he put it in Donald Trump's name. Right. right. Donald Trump sent it out. This is the way it, it works. It becomes usually. the official language. Just like if we really, if somebody helped any of us with a statement, a PR statement, How about the and we put it out. Sarah it, Huckabee Sanders. It's us. Right. It, it, it's attached to us. So there's a distinction without a difference. The only thing that Dow did by coming out and lying is he now put, made himself a target of the special and, counsel and, and will be called in. A fool, quite frankly. Yeah, a liar. That well, fool. I was just going to say one more thing, Mika. Yeah. That argument, we should say what's right in front of us, tells you what the White House is thinking, that the president could be charged with obstruction of justice. Because right. they're not saying that he did not obstruct justice. They're saying that he cannot be charged with obstruction right. of justice. They're already running around the backside right. Right. saying, right. this is there. This may have happened. And here's our legal footing, we think, which is not a sound and one, but we think this is our... Well, they're always moving the, the line, Mickey. You know, three, four months earlier, they said, well, this is an obstruction of justice because there's not an investigation, right? That's what, the, before right. they knew what was going on, that was the argument. Now that there is an investigation and now they have clearly obstructed <laughs> justice, now the argument is the president cannot obstruct justice. It is, for any law here, in this case, it's the last refuge of the truly desperate. Well, and speaking of the last refuge of the truly desperate, the Republicans who still walk the plank for Trump and the RNC, no. are you mm. kidding me? Mm. My God, what, what more wow. can you do to this party? Mm. You're, you're annihilating the country. it, country. Uh, let alone no. the country. No. But specifically to your party and to your people, the people who you hope will vote for you, I mean, what's, what's the cost? What, why, what's, the, what's it worth?
Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.